Hello everyone, I am Santhya Christi, Assistant Professor ECE Highset and today's topic is the Von Neumann model. Von Neumann computer architecture design was proposed in 1945. It was later known as Von Neumann architecture. Modern computers are based on a stored program concept introduced by John Von Neumann. In this stored program concept, programs and data are stored in a separate storage unit called memories and are treated the same. This novel idea means that a computer built with this architecture would be much easier to reprogram. It consists of a memory, a processing unit and a control unit. In memory, it consists of instructions and the data. In processing unit, it is for performing arithmetic and logical operations and control unit is used for interpreting instructions. The given model is the basic von Neumann structure. It is also known as ISA, instruction set architecture, and is having three basic units. They are the central processing unit, CPU, the main memory unit, and the last one is the input or output devices. Now let's get into central processing unit. The central processing unit is defined as the electric circuit used for the execution of instructions of a computer program. It has following major components, the control unit CU, the arithmetic logic unit ALU and variety of registers. Arithmetic logic unit ALU. It is defined as the part of the CPU that handles all the calculations of the CPU may need like examples are addition, subtraction, comparisons, etc. It also performs logical operations, bit shifting operations and arithmetic operations, etc. When we see about registers, registers refer to high speed storage areas in the CPU. The data processed by the CPU are fetched from the registers. There are different types of registers used in this architecture. The first one is accumulator. In accumulator, it is used to store the results of calculations made by the ALU. It also holds the intermediate of arithmetic and logical operations such as a temporary storage location or device. The next one is program counter. It keeps the tracking of the memory location of the next instruction to be dealt with. This PC that is the program counter then passes the next address to the MAR. MAR is nothing but memory address register and it comes under memory in this block diagram. When it comes to MAR that is memory address register, it stores the memory location of the instruction that need to be fetched from memory or stored in memory. The next one is MDR memory data register like MAR MDR also is also a part of memory. It stores instruction fetched from memory or any data that is to be transferred to or stored in memory. The next one is current instruction register CIR. It stores the most recently fetched instruction while it is waiting to be coded and executed. Next one is instruction buffer register IBR. The instruction that is not to be executed immediately is placed in the instruction buffer register IBR. Now to see about memory, it can store 2K cross M array of stored bits, addresses unique K bit identifier location, contents M bit value stored in the location. The basic operations done by memory are load and store. In load, we can read a value from the memory location and in store, we can write a value to the memory location. The next one is interface to memory. Okay, the question is how does processing unit get to or from memory? The first one is MAR that is memory address register and the next one is MDR memory data register. Then both MAR and MDR comes under memory to load a location. For example, if the location is A, to load a location A, write the address A that is the address is A into the MAR, send a read signal to the memory, then read the data from MDR that is memory data register. Now to store a value, the, let's consider the value as x and the location address is a. To store a value x to a location a, now we have to write the data x to the MDR, write the address a into the MAR, then send the write signal to the memory. The next one is processing unit. It first consists of functional units such as ALU, arithmetic logic unit. 
could have many functional units some of them are like addition subtraction logical uh, logical operations etc as we seen before the next one is register it is small temporary storage operands and results of functional units it has eight registers or not to or seven that is or not or one or two or three or four or five or six and or seven and each has 16 bits wide the next one is word size uh, with one instruction itself ALQ, alu can process number of bits normally the next one is input and output here program or data is read into main memory from the input device or secondary storage under the control of cpu input instruction output devices are used to output information from a computer if some results are evaluated by the computer and it is stored in the computer then with the help of output devices we can present them to the user some examples of input devices are keyboard mouse scanner and disk and some examples of output devices are monitor printer led and disk some devices provides both input and output they are the disk and the network program that control access to a device is usually called as a driver the next one is control unit it orchestrates execution of the program a control unit cu handles all processor control signal it directs all input and output flow fetches code for instructions and controls how data moves around the system instruction register ir contains the current instruction then the program counter pc contains the address of the next instruction to be executed here in control unit it reads an instruction from memory then it interrupts the instruction generating the signals that tell the other components what to do the control unit consists of two devices pc and ir pc is nothing but the program counter and ir is nothing but the instruction register the next one is instruction the instruction is the fundamental unit of work it specifies two things opcode and operands opcode is the operation to be performed the operation can be either addition subtraction arithmetic logical anything it can be the operation is called opcode and the operands is like uh, data or location to be used for operation the data can be either numerals variables or anything and the location is like uh, the location can be placed in the memory a location from the memory is called the operand an instruction is encoded as sequence of bits that is like with zeros and ones often but always instructions have a fixed length that is the instruction having fixed length will be like uh, 16 bits or 32 bits or not more than that or not below to that control unit interrupts the instruction generates a sequence of control signal to carry out operation operation is either executed or not at all it won't be in the middle stage it will either it will be completed or it won't be get or else it won't get completed a computer's instructions and their format is also known as instruction set architecture thank you students